200, our top field champion here this weekend, the 48th running of the Gator Nationals. This is the 83rd race win of Tony's career in top fuel, and uh, you become you break basically a tie between several drivers. You become the winningest driver here five times. You have uh, hoisted a wall. And, and uh, this is your second start from the number one qualifying position in the last two years. And the last time you first won, or the last time you won from the number one spot was 2015. Obviously, there was a stretch in there when number one qualifying was kind of like kryptonite. No one wanted it. Obviously, that seems to have turned the corner. Yeah, well, so far this year, I think top fuel, all three number one qualifiers have won the race. So, you know, it's, it's cyclical. Sometimes you go number one qualifying spot and you're really on the edge. And we were just not on the edge. We, we were making good runs. Our window was big. And when we talk about that, you know, it's the amount of clutch wear, the amount of, the amount of changes we can make and still get down the racetrack and have a decent run. You know, our window is nice. Uh, we have crew chiefs, Mike and Phil, that can look at what they think they're putting in and give me a general number and be very accurate. And that's a comforting thing so early in the season. Uh, it's honestly more comforting when they're doing it at the end of the season, you know, when you're in the lead. And, but um, we have great, great people working together. And, and I'm just, I'm loving driving the car. You know, we, we got beat the first two races with, the last race we had a little malfunction and ignition problem. And before that, it was just a good old, good old drag race. So we're in the fight every day, uh, every race, and it's gonna be a fun year, man. We're already in the tracks of shootout now. Take that pressure away and let's go out and win some races. Uh, obviously, the personnel change over the wintertime. Neil Strasbaugh moves to the point car side. Phil Schuler comes in. Talk about your relationship with Phil and how that obviously it's coming together pretty well. Well, we battled up till now, you know, and it's uh, it's fun. But he was always the more aggressive kind of guy, and uh, it's the combination between him and Mike and the talk they had with the team before us before the season started. They said we're not going to try to slide the car down anymore. We're going for it. We're going to go out and win these races. And so far, so great. You know, beyond good. I'm comfortable driving the car. It's running right down the middle. It's running extremely fast. It doesn't have any part on the racetrack that you feel I'm in danger. You know, the car is going to smoke the tires and it's carrying the front wheels, just doing everything that a driver dreams about uh, sitting in a car, a top fuel car, and, and winning races with, man. They're just doing a, a miraculous job. Oh, no questions. Well, I was going to ask you if anything was tough at all today, but it doesn't sound like anything was tough. You know, the final round was brutal. You know, and I wasn't kidding myself that the second and third round would be easy. First round, you know, you got a car that only made one run. But I'll tell you what, as a driver of a car, when a guy red lights that early, it is an awkward way to drive down the racetrack. You're listening to him, you're trying to drive straight. We already had said we, we don't need to drive through the left lane because there's a little whoop to do down at the finish line. So if you're out, you're making a good run, shut it off a little bit early, uh, shut it off just about 900 feet, you know, but you want lane choice still. So uh, everything went right, everything went right. That final round with Antron, um, he, he's had my number for a, while, for a long time. I think if you look at, at the amount of wins, I don't know how even they are. I think he's actually got a few more than I do. Um, but he's a great guy. He makes me step up to the plate and, and drive the car better. Uh, you know, I talk a lot about widening the plate. I talk a lot about having to step up. You know, when my kids pitch baseball, what we want to do as parents, if they can't throw a strike, we want to move the plate out and say, look, just, just hit this spot. And that ain't how life works. You know, when you go to get your job later on, whatever career you pick, the boss doesn't grade you on a curve. The job's done or not. You know, I think it's important that we talk about that. We've, we we let these kids have been told for so long that they're all going to win and get trophies. We learn them the right lesson, man. It's our job to teach them that you've got to earn these trophies. What makes 83 trophies shine are the ones we lost, the hurt, the pain, what we left on the table and figuring out how to fix that problem. Right, Johnny? You hit that right, kid. How about the, uh, your all-time <coughs> Gator Nationals here? Five, it's unbelievable. Time. You know, I just... Over the years, being put on a list with Big Daddy Don Garlis and Joe Amato and, and Dixon, I mean, me and him battled forever. You know, I really looked forward to him going some rounds today. I was like, just welcome back. You know, we had this rivalry that was true, not faked. You know, have him come back out here and, and still have that chance of, it, to, to break that record. It was me and him. We're still active drivers. So uh, that's a big accomplishment for a team to go out there, uh, have an opportunity. And, and what makes it so big is, you qualify number one and you get into the finals. Here you are. You have this chance. It's, it's laid out for you. You're running an Antron Brown, who's a world champ, three time, great driver. You know, the cars ran within a few hundred, a few thousands of a second the round before. So there's nothing easy about that. You need to step up, do your job, uh, be a machine, and try to do that against a car that's 
very capable of beating you. So those are great moments. Those are the moments you'll remember for a long, long time that you were put in position to do it, surrounded by people capable of your team, you know, accomplishing it, and you got it done at the end. Something you just said put a thought into my mind. Are you hungrier for victory now than you've ever been in your entire career? Well, I think I enjoy them all. You know, there was a time we won 15 races in one season. Yep. And I remember some of the guys on the team, you know, we were busy and moving to another race. And they said, just use some archive pictures. And I went, stop, guys. There's going to come a time in every one of our lives. Me, Johnny, every one of us. And it's our last mile. It's our last win. The last time they will hand us as a driver a trophy. So let's not play that game. Let's enjoy the moment. Enjoy what it took to get here. The sweat, the effort, the energy. Look, we and him, we work for six minutes a year. It's an embarrassing stat. Six minutes a year if we go and make a lot of runs. <laughs> That's all the preparation to make those six minutes awesome. Yep. And those rough ones, man, you know, when you get beat, you got, you got to understand, 83 wins, hundreds of losses, and yes, there's a difference. One is excellent, buys homes and cars. One doesn't. Clearly a difference there. So the effort, the pain, and all of that goes into it. Uh, you know, the adversity. As the Army, we talk about that. Being able to adapt to weather conditions. Cool, fast, all of a sudden sunny and hot. And able to figure out, hire people smart enough they can look back and go, I know that there's a change, but we're smart. We've been educated in this, and we can get this to work. Okay. Thank you very much, Tony.